Hi chess friends, this is King's Executor and today we're gonna see Tigran Petrosian's Alkine test. Can he withstand this interesting defense? Um, the site is Antalya in Turkey and this is the fifth individual European chess championship in 2004. And Petrosian uh, has white and he's playing Mihail Lucian um, the black player is rated 24.01 uh, and Petrosian was rated 25.39 back then. Okay, let's get it on. Petrosian opened with e4 and now we see the other kind and Petrosian uh, pushes on. Uh, Petrosian is really one of the um strongest chess grandmasters in terms of positional play so let's see how he deals with the other kind we see the d6 pawn move this is the normal move in the other kind and knight f3 so pedrosian wants to um keep a modest advantage and doesn't try to refute uh the other kind because he understands that this opening is resourceful if you are too aggressive with white. Now Grunberg played the Miles variation which I'm recommending on my channel and after Queen F3 very aggressive Bishop E6 is comfortable. The next stage is just to um, exchange off that central white knight and that's all for the time being a3 well maybe not allowing any any games here any threats so this is typical Petrosian knight d7 now knight d3 okay so as you can tell black already developed three minor pieces and Petrosian has his queen out and the bishop is go probably going to land on e2 here in this position and uh, it doesn't look too active for white on the other hand white can push c4 after which uh, the c pawn will be attacked if the knight moves uh, but white cannot push d5 afterwards because that square is oftentimes defended by black so white has a little spatial advantage but black is really fast with his development g6 now of course having the bishop on e6 blocks that pawn so you have to fianchetto your bishop c4 knight b6 let's just drop back uh, Knight c7 isn't impossible. If you manage to exchange off that bishop, which I don't see uh, that you can force that in this position, well, you can play here, you can play here, and then maybe chase the queen, and afterwards this square is liberated. And then the knight can come here attacking this pawn. So you can actually choose how to retreat your knight here. Knight to b6 gives the possibility of queen c7, um, maybe rook d8 or rook c8. Um, yeah. b3 that weakens a little bit the diagonal here. But of course, that was necessary because of this pawn push. So you see, I mean, don't think that white is better just because uh, white has central pawns. After white pushes those pawns into the center, uh, they have to defend the pawns immediately because black has already every piece developed here 
I mean this knight is gonna get to the negative square too but look at white's pieces so this is why I like the other kind it's easy it's um, it's more or less always the same for you the same opening plan but the middle games always differ so it's a very rich opening and easy to learn bishop b2 castles knight f4 attacks the bishop of course we don't want to um, allow an easy exchange and seat the bishop pair that easily bishop f5 so what if g4 here black can take this knight here and then push e5 and this is very strong you see the white king is in the, s the middle of the board the center is opening up and you is coming to the game very decisively so this is a lost position for white so after bishop f5 there is no g4 bishop d3 and in this position Grunberg played bishop takes bishop which is actually an okay move but in this particular position there was a way stronger move you see this knight is still here and the bishop together they can support this very strong e5 push e5 would have been best move here now what if pawn takes pawn then we can take with the knight and you see how black's position really splashes in white's face i mean um, the pieces are attacked and after the forced exchange the rook on a1 is attacked and after rook a2 bishop takes knight bishop takes bishop and the queen can come here defending this bishop and this one here is still attacked and the rooks are ready to come into the center if bishop d3 here check if rook e2 can exchange and now we have even a tactical shot bishop takes h2 and if rook takes that bishop we have a vicious check here let's just see this if takes this is just to prove you how resourceful black's position is and now white loses even this piece so let's drop back to this position to this variation what if instead of d takes e if bishop takes bishop then pawn takes knight bishop takes d7 we can play it sufficient suk here and you see this pawn is attacked twice and the rooks are coming to the open file and this should be a lost position for white as well but maybe Grunberg couldn't calculate his way through here I don't know I think to me it's to me it's obvious to play e5 I played e5 pushes in way worse circumstances than this for black okay but black is able to exchange that um, bishop which is a little bit clumsy here the bishop did his job by defending f7 beforehand in the opening but now e5 works uh, anyway well under less strong circumstances for black but it's still okay black has already equalized and black has uh, white has some problems to solve here we have this pin and after castles takes 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 the point is uh, black is still leading in development and black is more active these pawns are pushed look this these are three tempi which white used instead of developing pieces so the idea in the other kind is 
get your pieces out and just push um, uh, use the least amount of pawn pushes so you can develop your pieces rook d1, queen e7, knight came out um, and after rook e8 I think black has just the advantage here with the more active position, more centralized pieces. The knight is rerouting to probably e3 here, blocking this major pieces here. But I think you can even uh, think about pushing f5, queen g5, and f4. Yeah, there should there should be some chances. A five. So that fixes the white pawns on the queen side, queen d three and queen c five. That queen c five move pressurizes um, this pawn so that. The pawn push isn't possible here because c4 would fall. Queen d4. I mean, white wants to exchange black's active pieces. That's as simple as this. But a4 uh, and b4. Let's just drop back if takes. Takes. Um, the pawn chain here is undermined. And after rook d3, well, we can improve the p um, position of our pieces. Um, we don't take here, we keep the pressure. Maybe we just play f5 now, king here, rook e7. And uh, yeah, black is still more active. But it should be possible for white to keep a draw here. Petrosian played b4 and the queens are exchanged and now black has the advantage. Um, he could have played rook e4, the best move if you ask my little friend Ripka. Um, and you see that there's a lot of pressure If rook a d1, this is a blunder. So the exchange of rooks would be forced, and the pawn is still attacked. Do you want to push and allow this knight to come to c4, pressurizing this backward pawn, giving black the opportunity to push his then passed pawn? Um, Knight d2 would be a way to defend for the time being, but rook d4 and c4, c5 would have been forced then, and maybe f5 in this position, and the king can just march down the board and mop up uh, the pawns here, the weak pawns, in combination with the rook. So, this could have been played rook e4. Rook e1 was played. Uh, another good move um, that just pins this knight and the king has uh, needs more time to get into the game. So the rooks are exchanged and g4 to get the king out and this gives black time to play rook a1 and this is really devastating. The rook here has to watch over this pawn and this pawn is attacked as well, so this is already a winning advantage for black. Petrosian plays king g2. If c5, do you want to let this knight into the center? So, king g2, but then the pawn drops. Knight d2 was played, king e7, and now the knight got into the center anyway. And now this nice tactical move, of course, if rook takes, then we have this fork. 
and the pawns are falling if you want to cover that pawn then you just can queen your passed pawn here so after rook d3 check was played and the king is coming into the fray knight c4 and now the pawn is pushed I think this is just clearly lost. Rook a4, rook b3, and check. And the rook is attacked. Rook d3 was played. The best move, again, Ripka says, is rook b2. Because after knight c4, knight c3 is possible. And we cannot exchange rooks as white because then the pawn is unhindered so rook a3 would be a line here but after rook b1 um, the pawn is queening white can give a check but the this position is lost anyway grunberg played rook d3 um, let's just drop back if rook, if rook takes then there's check and mate so after rook d3 h4 to prevent this mate now the knight protects the a pawn and attacks the rook at the same time and rook d1 knight b3 and rook b1 knight d2 rook b1 d2 knight c4 and this is the last tempo black needs to get his act together here and king d8 is a nice move the rook takes knight and grunberg as a possibility to queen and this is just a clearly lost position the Trojan tried some more moves but after king c7 the Trojan resigned to the other kind defense what a nice game that was I hope you liked it and I hope I've shown that you can play this uh, very interesting defense easy to learn defense and uh, interesting to play defense please comment your thoughts how you like the game and how you like the opening and how your results are with the other kind thanks